Hi, I'm Jason Gorb for ThatShelf.com. We're here to look at the 50th anniversary edition of Frank Zappa's Apostrophe. Big change. So we've already looked at this channel at Overnight Sensation, the sort of sister album to Apostrophe. These two records came out obviously around 50 years ago. Um, they really form a sort of core um, component of Frank Zappa's discography. I think for many people, uh, just getting into his, uh, if you're even going to bother getting into his discography, it's always uh, trepidatious about where to start. Do you start with something like Freak Out and go chronologically? Well, then you're probably going to get lost along the way. Do you start with something like Joe's Garage, which is actually how I started. And sort of went backwards. Hot Rats, I think, is probably a pretty good one. But really, uh, I think that the two records, Apostrophe and Overnight Sensation, um, give the most coherent view, incredible musicianship, a sense of the collision between high and low, all the things that we've talked about on this channel before. Um, some stunning guitar work, incredible band, uh, some, you know, bemusing or amusing uh, songwriting, depending on how you uh, take the lyrics these days, etc., etc. Apostrophe, um, in some ways, um, is a bit of an anomaly because it actually has what constituted a giant hit for him with uh, Don't Eat the Yellow Snow, something that, you know, um, deals with, uh, um, uh, since it goes right into no Nanook rubs it, certainly has uh, a complicated relationship to indigenous iconography, especially for those of us in Canada, um, with the whole notion of the North. But nonetheless, the, um, um, the storytelling is more goofy than it is offensive in those particular tracks. Other tracks absolutely are offensive to some. Frank Zappa very famously said that he actually used lyrics very reluctantly, that he saw himself very much as a musician, an orchestrator, essentially, um, uh, with, within the rock idiom, and used lyrics often to be provocative, to be silly, to bring in certain audiences that were... Um, to be drawn in, not necessarily because of the lyrics' cleverness, but often because of their very puerile nature. There's a big debate about whether or not that's sufficient or not, but certainly in the 70s, it was you felt like you were getting away with something um, with these lyrics. And yeah, if you can divorce any of the things that you may be um, specifically offended by, sometimes they're sort of goofy in their, in their fun. Um, it's, it's one of those things like, can you truly be offensive if you just sort of hate everyone equally? It is at least up for debate about the yeah, Frank Zappa world. Um, this particular version, uh, mastered by Bernie Grumman, as he's been doing a bunch of these, the 50th anniversary remaster with bonus LP featuring highlights from the five CD box set. So again, like the Johnny Mitchell stuff that we talked about before, there's a massive box set that details sort of the whole making of the record, almost an audio documentary which is fantastic, on digital. And then we have these sort of vinyl, um, uh, you know, greatest hits of that, and excerpts, the highlights of the box set, as it were. So a complete version of the album itself, and then this additional material, which is now uniquely presented in this. And, of course, because I wanted the stuff, um, I can listen to the full thing um, on streaming, but when I actually take a chance to actually listen, I'm going to want to listen to it on vinyl. It would make me very happy if this would have been sort of a more complete um, uh, version of uh, everything at play um, uh, on a vinyl box set. But, you know, we get what we get. So let's crack it open and see what it's like here. Try to do this with keeping as much in play as possible. It is, of course, a gatefold, given its multi-disc nature. So this just came straight from FrankZappa.com. Actually, I might have gotten it from Universal Music Canada. And here, right out of the packs, we have Ye Old Seam Split. So you can see that the actual um, cover itself has split. So we're going to see about how Universal Music actually deals with this. But that's very frustrating. Uh, despite being a gay fold, it was packed in pretty tight shrink wrap. Um, with the, uh, the hype sticker, but nonetheless, pretty major seam split right there, right on opening, just so that we have it for proof, as it were. This is a, um, a normal gatefold, not a trifold, and it's pretty stuffed, and that may be one of the reasons that uh, um, it's split along uh, during shipping. 
inside here we have his gatefold with his you know lovely photo of Frankie um, and then you can see the set list there. Don't eat the Yellowstone, Donut no rubs it. San Alfonso's Pancake Breakfast, Father Bolivian and Cosmic Debris, side one. Uh, Excentrifugal ex <laughs> Force, uh, Apostrophe, Uncle Remus, and Stink Foot on side two. Um, uh, Brombriosis? What is it? The uh, When you wear a snakeskin boot. And then LP2. So, the, so as this is LP1, 15th anniversary of Apostrophe was cut directly from the Dolby encoded quarter and stereo analog EQ master. The master was created at Artists and Recorders back in 1974 using the mastering of the original album and was the designated cutting master for vinyl. By using this particular tape, we sonically replicate the original vinyl as the composer intended. In other words, all analog of the first uh, record. Um, then LP2, high-res digital transfers by Joe Travers, keeper of the vault, uh, mastering by Bob Ludwig. Um, um, 2014. Some of these tracks actually showed up earlier, and then some of the others by John Polito at Audio Mechanics for 2024, which is the side three stuff. And then we have basic tracks, alternate takes, uh, session outtakes, mix outtakes, unedited masters, piano and vocal mix of Uncle Remus um, will be interesting. Cosmic Debris live in Colorado Springs, approximate um, uh, in Bale, live in Basel, Switzerland. Uh, Yotabori, Gothenburg GTR, live in Yotabori, Sweden, and Apostrophe TV ad, uh, all selections, part of Munchkin Music, of course. All original recordings and mixes produced by one Frank Zappa. So that's what we've got here. Let's crack it open and see how the actual vinyl and other elements stay. So again, this box set includes, on crappy paper sleeves, a 45 on beautiful sort of patterned yellow. This might, again, be so bright with the light here. But yeah, Cosmic Debris and Don't Eat the Yellow Snow on this sort of patterned yellow vinyl. Quite fun. And then the record itself. This is what you get to get the exclusive yellow print of this box. So it's exclusive um, version here with on the colored vinyl, but also with the 45 as part of the sort of unique nature of this set. Photo of Frank there, the apostrophe photo at the front, and then the track listing there, apostrophe, side one and side two, um, all there. So no track listing on the record itself. It is a polyline paper sleeve. Kudos. And let's look at the other side three. What else do we have? It's a booklet I'll get to in a sec. But again, there we have apostrophe 50th uh, anniversary edition. Similar thing there. The inside version, the alternate cover photo of Frank, and then on um, uh, the side, the um, uh, side four. So again, no track listing on that. In order to get the track listing, you have to look at the sleeve itself. Um, included within is this a pretty robust uh, booklet, master tape on the back, as per usual. Ooh, more master tape. Goodness. Delicious. Uh, and then a series of verbiage, writings, images, etc. of the inside of the record. So they've done a really nice job of this, of telling the story of this record, giving a glimpse at some of the additional material, and presenting here on brand new vinyl um, the stuff directly from Master Tapes. I'm looking forward to digging into it. Again, very disappointed about the seam split, but we'll reach out to Universal and see what they actually have to say. So that's our look. Apostrophe. Happy anniversary to Apostrophe. Um, don't eat the yellow snow. And um, uh, please let me know what you think of this record or any other release. Let us know in the comments what you think of these videos. Please subscribe, follow us on social media, do all that stuff. I try to leave this to the end, but it would be really great if you've listened this far. Um, please, please just hit the like and the subscribe. It really does help us a lot. And um, we will see you next video. All the best. Take care.